everyone. So this is going to be my week 19 update. Almost halfway there. I'll be 20 weeks tomorrow. Um, as far as symptoms go, I still have you know the nausea when I don't eat like I should. Um, other than that, really, some days I feel pregnant and some days I don't. Um, the days that I really feel pregnant is when I have like really bad nausea or if the baby is kicking and moving around a lot. The baby has days where he or she will like move a whole lot and then other days where it's like their rest day or something like it's like okay I'm tired today I'm gonna like kind of lay low here so um, the baby sits the baby used to sit mainly on my right side but now it seems like they're moving over to my left side so anyways but um, that's really all the symptoms that I've been having um, the one thing I haven't mentioned is my cravings, and I think I mentioned it in a couple videos, but not too many of these videos. But um, as far as cravings go, um, it's more like, you know, a lot of melons, like watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, those kind of things. Um, and the only melon that, um, or the only place I get my, the different melons from is Kroger's, because they have like the best produce, in my opinion. Walmart just is disgusting um, and a lot of cravings for salty things more than I guess it would be more like a, a balance between the salty and the sweet so um, some days I crave more salt some days I crave more sweet stuff so it just depends on my day um, and some days I crave one thing and the next day I crave something else but it is nice when you actually fulfill a craving because it just tastes really good. Um, everything in pregnancy tastes different. To me it does. Um, everything that you thought was good tastes bad and if it, you didn't like it at first and now you like it, it tastes really, really good. So, um, anyways, but I did do, I got one outfit for the baby, which it would have been two, but they didn't have, um, the mini and the size I wanted because we've been getting a lot of gender neutral clothes or if it is gender specific it's um we've been getting both of them and then we've been keeping the receipt just in case that we have to return them so I got this little outfit and it says it's got a little bib with it that says M is for Mickey and then it's got C is for cute as can be and then that's a little onesie and these are the little pants and this is a um, six to nine month set because um, that would be like around the time the baby would be in this was you know like when they were this size so it was originally $24 and I got it for 70% off which made it like $7.20 so I got that from Kohl's and they didn't the mini one all they had was zero to three and I was like well they wouldn't get any use out of it because they're gonna be a summer baby um, and then we also found this big sister shirt at Kohl's, which I think is so cute. Um, this was on sale, or actually I think it was not on sale, it was $8. And um, we thought it would be perfect for the summertime that she could wear it to the hospital because it's got, it's sleeveless. And it'll be like probably end of June, July, I don't know. If I had to guess, the baby would be born probably, I'm going to say like June 27th, 28th, somewhere along in there. Um, so anyways, but that is the shirt she'll be wearing when she comes to see the baby for the first time. Which I think I'm going to put it in my bag just so that like my family doesn't have to worry about like um, <laughs> picking it out and putting it on her. And um, It's also white too, so... <laughs> If she's eating or drinking anything during the day, she's going to get stuff all over it. So, I'd rather her just put it on when she first sees the baby and get a picture with it clean and white. Um, that's the only downfall of this shirt. So, but that's all the baby buys that I did for um, this week. The other thing I was going to say is that I get short of breath really easily now. Um, I'm like if I talk on the phone and I'm not sitting down and I'm walking around, I get short of breath. Like right now I'm short of breath because I've been talking so much. Um, and I've only been talking for like five minutes. 
but um, I still get short of breath. And we were at Target yesterday and I tried to get my um, my little bag that they have, but they had not gotten a shipment in, so we still don't have it. And the lady's like, oh, you know, they're not gonna ask you any questions, they'll just give it to you when, you know, we do have them. So I haven't gotten that yet, or I'd show you guys what's in it, but, um, because I'm always curious as to know, like, when you register at different places, like, what you get. Um, so, we have, we registered, I don't, I think I said this in the last video, we registered at Toys R Us and, um, Target. And we mainly put, like, the things that we, like, really, really would need. We don't know the gender yet, so, when we actually know the gender, that's why we'll put more gender-specific things on there. Which, if it's a girl, then we won't put anything on there, because we have everything as far as clothes and onesies and stuff like that go. Um, and then Toys R Us right now is doing their great trade-in, which if this baby is a boy, we will trade Ella's stroller in and we could get 25% off on um, another like stroller or whatever. So um, I think it's kind of a good deal because if you think about like a $200 stroller and it's 25% um, off, that's that's like I think $50 or something like that off of that stroller. So you're kind of getting your money's worth because I mean even if I tried to sell my stroller, I probably would not get $50 for my stroller because it's been, you know, I used it for like two and a half years. So um, even though we kept it in really, really good condition. So. And, um, I don't know, it's kind of a short update. My ultrasound is going to be this week. My, um, anatomy scan, which I almost said gender, but it's more the anatomy scan than it is to tell you if, what gender is. But, of course, you know, you always find out at your 20-week scan what your baby is. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited about that and just counting down the days of how many days I have left. Um... And I will do a gender reveal on Saturday, next Saturday, when I do my 20 week update, I'll do the gender reveal. Um, probably it'll be a video of our gender reveal party, which I showed you guys all the things in my gender reveal party, so I won't like show you guys that again. Um, we did get some confetti and some other little things to go with it. We're going to be doing um, like little mints that are... The blue ones will be like blueberry and the pink ones will be raspberry. Um, they're going to be like shaped like a duck. Um, and then as far as like the things that I hand out for coming, they'll be um, my my cousin makes Scentsy Candles. So those will be like the vapors. Um, so guys, let me show you my belly and that's going to be it for this video because I have my daughter coming down now and she will bother me. <laughs> Hi baby. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I got these pants which I don't think you can see I'm them. But I got these pants. I'm behind are you behind me? <laughs> I'm behind you. Um, see, these pants right here. <laughs> they're by Motherhood Maternity <laughs> but they are I got them from Kohl's for $30. What are you doing, Booger? Just in case you didn't hear me, I got them from Kohl's for $30. Um, they're kind of like the, they're made by Motherhood Maternity, but they're called something else. So anyways, but there is my belly for this week. Belly button's poking out a little more. It feels like it's gotten like so much bigger. Um, and I don't know how I'm really carrying. It's almost like I'm carrying the same as like what I did with Ella, but the baby really sits way down here and Ella kind of sat like in the middle. So, here's the front. Oh. And the other side. Um, so, yeah. There is my belly button. It is like trying to poke out. Oh. Alrighty. And that is it. Thanks for watching.